Alright, welcome back. I had a uh, video request from Sasquatch 7 Foot. <clears throat> he had asked if I could show how to set the powder charge on the Dillon Square Deal B. Uh, so I said no problem. He also made the comment that it just looked too easy and yes sir you're right. Um, at first I kind of thought it was too easy on the setup and the use of it. I read the book the original owner told me to read it about four or five times. I read the book twice. Both times it really didn't explain much. Um, either that or I'm just not that literate when it comes to reading. So basically I just kind of eyeballed things and went with what he had told me. He gave me a brief rundown at his shop on how to do everything. So I just kind of took that into mind and was able to uh, come up with what he was talking about. Um, I did have a problem when I first set it up. I couldn't get the powder to actuate. And once again, error fault. This press is way smarter than I am. Uh, I forgot to put the powder funnel inside of here, the one that um, bells expands the mouth of the case and drops if you don't put that in there's nothing to work the neither thought I broke it but anyway back to Sasquatch 7 foot's question on how how do you set the uh, powder charge um, basically what we do is you um, pick the powder that you're going that you're going to want to use in this case we're going to use unique. So you just drop it down in there. Now to set the charge, and I'm sorry, um, my wife went to work and the uh, bipod or tripod is in the truck. But basically to set it, you've got this little adjuster right here. You turn it clockwise to increase your powder, counterclockwise to decrease your powder charge and simply to use that all you're going to need is a 7 16th wrench and it just sits right there now after you set that and check it I always like do a powder drop into one case and then I come over and I'll drop in my pan of my 505 scale to make sure that it is the um, correct powder charge that I want to use. So um, right now I got it zeroed out and we're going to say let's go with uh, six grains of unique. So let me go here and try to set this camera right and we'll, we'll do a quick quick practice. Okay now I know I've got this set up for 40 Smith and Wesson cases. Um, so this load isn't f for anything particular, it's just something to uh, mess around with. Now what I do is I'll take a 40 Smith and Wesson that I've not deep primed or sized yet. And let me get the camera back here again, I apologize. Uh, basically what I do is just slide it right here in the second slot. <clears throat> now I'll go ahead and see, you know, when it goes up, powder bar slides out and this is where you adjust it. So we'll go ahead and see what it's already set at. And it will go to that section. I just pull it out. And I'll drop it in. So it's set low. Alright, now let's go back and adjust. Like I said, now what I'll do is I'll set my wrench straight up and down. 
and I want to increase it 180 degrees and let's see what we got right there okay I've got the same brass right in there and let's see what we got hundred and eighty degrees put it right on there and that's basically how you do it uh, I'm not going to sit here and go through a lot more but yeah you just clockwise increases counterclockwise decreases now what I'll do <clears throat> turn it 180 degrees says it's six grains I'll put the same case back in here and I'll run it five or six more times to double check that. As I'm loading, I'll stop maybe every tenth round, check it again, and then I'll just continue. So far, I have not had any inconsistencies or anything. Every time I've checked it, it's been dead on. And it's, it's, it's that easy. <clears throat> 